Good afternoon. My name is Catherine Tomer, aka Gud Tomer. I'm a family and community resource worker with Mi'kmaq Family Children's Services. And today I am going to do a little demonstration on um, how to create your own medicine pouch. And this is a, a, a craft that you can do with your family. A medicine pouch is used to carry um, some of the sacred medicines like cedar, sage, tobacco, and sweet grass. And also you can put like um, any other personal effects inside the medicine pouch like a rock or a ring or something any kind of you can make it your own once you once you construct it so today um, I have with me um, some of the things to create a medicine pouch um, is the leather number one um, it is deer hide so a medicine pouch you can make from deer hide, elk, moose, um, and split cow hide. Um, and it's pretty easy to construct. And if you don't have the uh, leather strips that go around here, you can also use like um, yarn or, or um, like old shoelace or something, you know, something that's able to sew through. Um, but yeah, this is what the uh, the the leather looks like that I'm using today. It's a pretty colored hide. Um, you'll, you will need scissors, a rotary punch to punch the holes. Most importantly, the pattern. This is the pattern that I have. And you can go online and you can also um, download a pattern. Um, and I went ahead and I already drew my pattern out today. Um, I kind of like the looks of this side of the leather so I trace as you can see I, I traced it on this side like so and I went around and I, I punched out all the holes so it's already ready to construct so I also have um, already made leather leather uh, strips and also uh, a needle so if um, this needle is a, a knit needle so first of all, I'm going to take my leather strip, a short piece of leather strip like so. And as you can see, the pattern has many, many holes. And if you can see these holes right here, I should take my needle and show you right quick. Right here is what I'm talking about, is I'm going to take this piece of leather and I'm going to have the this side facing me because this is my outside. And I'm going to just put a piece of leather through here like so. <clears throat> Oops. So it looks like this. And it looks like that facing you. So next of all, I'm going to take my string that I have and I'm going to start at this very, very first hole beside the flap. This is your flap. So I'm going to start from this side Pull that through and um, it's really easy just weave all the way through and it's okay if it, it kind of crimps up that's okay you can just kind of straighten it out see and that's all I'm doing is weaving in and out um, so if, if the, the parents want to go ahead and prep for the family project, they can. I, I recommend that you do because the, the leather shears that you use to cut the pattern is pretty, pretty sharp and we don't want anybody getting hurt. So again, you just keep sewing, weaving in and out. Just like this, see? And I'm pulling it through. This is what it's going to look like. This is going to be the side that I'm going to be facing out. This is my inside of my pouch. Okay, so once it's complete, you take the needle off the end. And you don't necessarily have to use a needle. You could also cut the leather strip on an angle so that it, it can sew in and out. But see, mine's uneven. So I just kind of go along here and just pull the string out up like so. Just to loosen it up a bit and try to make them kind of even. That's not too bad. 
So there, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to hold my fingers in the middle and we're going to pull. on the ends like so. Now the medicines before you, you, you tie it up because this is going to tie your flat clothes that's why you, this is important. I'm going to put in some of the sacred medicines that I mentioned the sage, the cedar, the sweet grass. So the tobacco go you can put a smidge of tobacco in there. Here's some sweet grass. Put some sweet grass inside and I have some cedar and sage mixed together here. It smells so good. And we put a little bit in there. So, multiple uses of a medicine pouch. And then you just pull it closed, nice and tight like so. You take your leather strips and you go through here. Voila. And you can you own up to as many medicine pouches as you wish. Um, it doesn't matter. There's no limitation on it. You can decorate it with beads. You can do some beadwork around the flap. You can put little beadwork on here. You can trim those. But there's your medicine pouch.